And check out shares of this under the radar biotech mover. It's called Cytokinetics, up more than 120% this year as the company awaits results from a phase three trial of its heart failure treatment. The name has also been a favorite among traders on the Robinhood platform over the past couple of months. And joining us now to talk more about his company in a CNBC exclusive interview is Cytokinetic CEO, Robert Blum. Uh, Robert, good to have you on the program. Thanks very much. You have a partnership with Amgen on Omicamptiv. It is in phase three trials. First off, how big is the addressable market and how are you leveraging Amgen's massive commercial infrastructure to grow that potential business? Good afternoon. So the, the market is large. Heart failure represents about 6 million growing uh, on that patients in the United States. Around half of them have heart failure and reduced systolic dysfunction or low cardiac contractility. It's the number one reason why people in the United States over the age of 65 are hospitalized. We've been in this partnership with Amgen since 2006. Together, we've invested many hundreds of millions of dollars. We've conducted uh, over 20 clinical trials, mm -hmm. and we're looking now at results later this year for what we hope will be the pivotal clinical trial that may support registration and marketing authorization for this new medicine in heart failure. If this is approved, you're going to be basically the second drug sort of to market in that market. Is there anything that you can do, Robert, in the phase three trials that might create a differentiation when it comes to the product label? Separate your drug from the other. Certainly. We, we've been at this for a long time. Nobody's ever going to accuse us of being an overnight success. We have already identified in this potential medicine a new mechanism, and we've been exploiting that biology for over 20 years. We've conducted these clinical trials one after the other in a very deliberate, methodical, comprehensive way. We've differentiated this new mechanism in the following way. Current drugs that treat this uh, deadly disease address one side of the equation for heart failure, typically addressing some of the clinical consequences. But the fundamental problem in heart failure is impaired cardiac muscle function impaired cardiac biomechanics. Omicamp of Macarbel is the name of our potential medicine, and it was designed and engineered to bind to the machinery in cardiac muscle to augment its performance, to restore its function back towards normal. And in that way, there really isn't another medicine, we believe, that addresses that side of the equation. And it's been studied in every clinical trial up to now <coughs> as an overlay to standard of care. So if this uh, trial later this year demonstrates positive results, it'll be above and beyond the standard of care and hopefully will become foundational to new treatment. Hi, it's Karen, thanks for being on our show. Um, just reading the notes, I saw you had to temporarily pause Meteoric's uh, phase three trial. And I wonder how difficult is it in this age of COVID? Why is it so difficult? And and how long do you think that'll be sort of an obstacle for you to overcome or any, I, any biotech to overcome? Yeah, so Meteoric is a second phase three study that we're conducting. Galactic is the study that we'll read out later this year. We like to think of it like rounding third base as we're heading to home for what we think can be a game changer therapy for the potential treatment of heart failure. Galactic is the key pivotal outcome study it's measuring the potential of this medicine to reduce uh, death and hospital readmissions in patients with heart failure. Your question about Meteoric is a second trial. We did pause enrollment for a few months in that trial. That trial is due to read out next year, and it would mm -hmm. extend the therapeutic hypothesis beyond Galactic to potentially demonstrate uh, the potential for this medicine to extend time to exercise fatigue or extend endurance or capacity for physical activity and health span in these patients. That's yeah. a second study. Robert Blum, CEO of CYTK. Mr. Blum, thank you very much for coming on. We do appreciate your time and good luck in the trials to all the people out there that may need that drug. Thank you very much. 
So, Steve Thank Grasso, you. stock's been hot, and clearly investors after hours liked what Mr. Blum had to say. The stock is up 9 or 10% right now just on what he said in that interview. What do you make of the action overall in Cytokinetics? Yeah, I think, I think it's great action, but it's so binary, Brian. So good news, the stock rips higher. Flash of bad news, the stock plummets. So for the average investor, I've always advocated buying the IBB, the biotech ETF, which is up, I think, about 13 or 14 percent year to date. And you get your Amgen, you get your Vertex, you get your Gilead, you get your Regeneron. You get all the big players with deep pockets, much safer way, much more muted way to play. You limit your upside, but you certainly limit your downside as well.